Good morning class. This is Dr. Archana Rathor. I am going to teach you visual art in your fourth semester. The, uh, the visual art basically talks about how we people think about the things, the pictures, the presentation. Before coming to the visual art, our specific subject, our specific field, let us know what is art and what are its different types. So when I say art, a thing comes in our mind that that is simple drawing certain lines from up to down, right to left or vice versa. If we think in a different way, what is art? Then we can say the way of living, the way of presentation, the way we behave. Near about, the art is also seen. What exactly the art is? In the general way, uh, we can understand uh, by some words, by some definition, by some theory given by the different artists. The art is generally understood as an activity or product done by people with a communicative or aesthetic purpose. Something that expresses an idea, an emotion, or more generally a world view. As uh, I said, the art is again the way of presentation. How we people are presenting ourselves in front of others. How skilled we are to express our ideas, our emotions, or what view we have about the world. So it is a component of culture reflecting economic and social sub substrates in its design. What exactly uh, the economic and the social substrates in its design means here we are talking about the cultural representation. And this cultural representation is again depending on how we people are living, how we people are presenting ourselves in front of other people. We have some specific uh, purpose also. When we talk about uh, the use of art in our life, it is very vast. So we have certain object as well. Uh, while we will go for the studies, uh, the first one is to determine a definition of visual art, examine how we see and perceive the art, define terms related to the viewing of the art, and examine images critically. So when uh, we will start the study of our visual art, these things will be in our mind. We'll try to achieve certain goals by completing our studies. Let us have some specific definition given by Britannica. The Britannica online defines art as the use of skill and imagination in the creation of aesthetic objects, environments, or experiences that can be shared with others. Earlier, as I told you, art is basically the presentation of life. How we people imagine and how we people create. And how we people are good enough to present in front of art. So we can understand uh, it comes in the form of object, it comes in the form of environment, it comes in the form of experience as well. And again, it is to be shared. It doesn't mean that it is with us only while it is to be shared with other, so other can also understand. Now coming to the visual art. Visual art has been defined as a language of visual science 
which conveys ideas, feelings or moods. So it's not mere uh, drawing certain line from one direction to another. But those lines are to give some idea, to make us understand what is there, what the artist, the painter wants to convey. The word art is not limited to certain lines. It talks about the skills, it talks about the capabilities. So, the meaning of the word art encompasses many more meanings, but here we are including only three. That is ability, process and product. Let us talk about first that is ability. Everyone has an ability. There is a variation no doubt. Some are average, some are good, some are excellent. So, every human being has capacity to make things of beauty and things that stir us, that is skill, mastery and creativity. So, here we can say the creativity may vary, the skill may vary and our command over a certain thing may vary. But everyone has ability. Next one uh, aspect is process. So whatever the ability we have, whatever the skill we have, how we people are presenting, what method we are going to use to present our things, our emotion, our ideas. Here, if we talk about the classification of art, we have drawing, painting, sculpting, architecture, music and photography. These are known as the methods which can be idea, which can be emotion or which expresses what you have in your mind. The third aspect of uh, the art is product. The complete work, whatever the lines we have drawn, whatever the method we have drawn, what, what name we are going to give. So, we should be aware about the vocabulary of art in order to understand it. Means sometimes we create and we don't know. Kya naam do? So, here we are supposed to know what type of work we have done and what nomenclature should be given. Now, let us talk about the different types of art. We can see a picture on our slide. And picture is again quite colorful, beautiful. But think, is it a real? Any one of us has seen uh, rainfall or rainy season in such a colorful way? No, we can see umbrella in a colorful way, but not the raindrops. So, this is known as abstract art. In the abstract art, uh, the painter didn't try to show people, animals or whatever around us in its real form. The painter paint the thing, the idea that looks like something specific. It's not exit one. As we have here picture, for example, the rainfall is there, which is no doubt specific, but the rainfall is not like that. Some imaginary uh, information, some imagination is there. We can see uh, certain colors are coming from the sky, but in real, it's not. So, some abstract idea is there along with the specific information or along with the specific situation. Now the next one is pop art. Pop art uh, basically based on mass media and iconic figure. It tends to be bold and colorful. You all have seen different 
package packaging on which uh, certain pictures are quite bold colorful means the one to convey the specific thing related to that picture here in the picture you can see uh, the painter or the artist tried to show the importance of spray bottle and it is in the bold one in the continuation of the same uh, we have the another type that is cubism everyone is aware what the cubism is basically it talks about different shapes and size it is related with the geometry and if we talk about uh, the invention of this type of painting or art it was invented in around 1907 to 8 by the artist pablo picasso and george brick it is a style of painting and sculpture developed in the early 20th century characterized chiefly by an emphasis on formal structure the reduction of natural forms to their geometrical equivalents and the organization of the planes of of a represented object independently of representational requirement the paintings are not supposed to look real the artist uses geometric shapes to show what he is trying to paint we can understand uh, with the picture also that you have in a slide different shapes are there we have square we have a triangle we have circle many more and they have different colors also so uh, here we have the planes of represented object independently every aspect every uh, square or every cube is independent it is representing the planes also but they are representing the requirement also they have been combined and with the combination of certain shapes and size the painter has tried to give us the scene the image or the picture of a guitar you can see uh, these type of things or certain other things also or certain images also but in that again we have to use different colors it is not or it cannot be in one color like uh, if we see like uh, in a guitar Uh, this portion this one cannot be in co one color if we really wish to show these cubes or if we are using the same color then these lines should be bold so one can understand what cubes are there what different shapes and sizes are there so that is the cubism now let us talk about the another type of art that is expressionism everyone is aware and it is said uh, action speaks louder than words sometimes we took time or we take time to understand the words said words or written words but when something is expressed in expression it's quite easy to understand and this expression or these this expre expressionism is related to the feelings about something we have different types of feelings in our life sometimes we are happy sometimes we are sad sometimes we are in wonder sometimes we are in depressed mood so different types of feelings are there and these feelings are represented by or with the help of picture so here in this type of art the artist is very much concerned with the expression that he or she has in his or her mind so we have a connection a similarity 
between the two the feeling in the mind and the picture that has been painted or created it is exactly one it looks like same there is no change in that in the picture you can see the face is dull upset which is showing some inner feeling of the painter or the artist that has been when the painter try to give this painting this picture related to the another type of art we have realism we can call it in the continuation of the same as expressions are related with the reality with the with the exact feeling that we have mind in the same way realism is in the realism people or the artist talks about the thing the images that happens around us that take place in our day to day life you can see the picture also we are have we are uh, having here three people working in a field and it's it's a reality people used to work those who are farmers they live this life they work like that so the realism is related with our real world no doubt uh, you can say as it's an artistic representation so some colorful things some color has been used some artistic touch has been given but again it is real it is from our life it is representing the society it is representing the class also and most of the realists were from france and there were some famous american painters also who painted uh, pictures in the form of realism and they were also known as realist next we have surrealism opposite to the realism as in the realism we talk about the real world here we are talking about imagination you can see the picture also the sky is in the eyes it can be imagined only the sky cannot be in you you can see the sky but you, but sky cannot be in your eye but it is the imagination means uh if we if we explain from a general person's point of view it is it, it shows that we can do whatever we want i imagined to do this and i did so the surrealist paintings were generally based on dreams here or in these type of paintings painter filled the familiar object which we are painted to look strange or mysterious you can see the picture means at the in the eyes there is sky the sky is quite familiar object but it looks little bit strange and uh, the painter hoped their odd paintings would make people look at things in a different way and change the way they felt about things we can say uh, the imagination also helps our point of view to look the things in a different we can call it as a vision if we have vision definitely we have certain things in mind and sometimes that information those things are in the form of imagination only and when we start thinking when we are we start looking at the things in a different way sometimes we achieve 
which seems to be quite difficult. Or after looking certain things, we remain successful in changing our point of view also. So, uh, the painter thought that their paintings might stir up feelings in the back of people's mind. Means, sometimes we are not having uh, courage to say, but when we look these type of things, we feel that yes, it can be. And but whatever we have mind, we can talk about that. Because there has been a support in the form of painting, picture or art, you can say anything. So, uh, we have no doubt, there is no class without some work. We have certain uh, questions that you have to attempt. <coughs> what the art is? You can say the way of living, the way of communication, the way of presenting in front of art. It's skill, it's art. It's your mastery. How to present things in front of art. So you have to define art in your own way. What you think, what you loved. <clears throat> I didn't talk about the elements of art, but uh, I'm fully confident or I'm fully... Uh, yeah, I can say confident only. Uh, you all have studied you all, this art in your childhood days. In the form of subject, no doubt. But now art has become the part of your life. So on the basis of that, whatever you studied in your childhood days and whatever you have in your present, you have you are supposed to talk about the elements of art. We have gone through with the different types of art as well. Now you have to write what do you understand with this activity or with the different types of art as well. Thank you. We'll meet in the next class and then we'll discuss about what you understood.